Yo, what's up guys? So, sometimes as magicians, we get so caught up in methods. I mean, as magicians, we're obsessed with methods. And you know, sometimes we get so caught up in these methods that we start to forget why we're doing magic in the first place for laymen or just for regular people. And we start to do magic for ourselves only. I'm certainly guilty of this from time to time, but we always have to remember that the main goal is to astonish our audience. And I feel like that the best way to get there or the easiest way to do that is through simplicity. And simplicity uh, doesn't necessarily mean uh, simple methods uh, by any means. It just means uh, simple in constructions, a direct method that's effective and hard hitting and something that they can uh, repeat to their friend in one sentence and their friend will be blown away as well. Oh my God, he just changed five cards into a royal flush. How'd he do that? There's no way that's possible. It is possible and I'll show you how to do it right now. Let's get into it. You ever seen those people on TV who uh, play poker for a living? A lot of people think that that takes a lot of skill, but the truth is they just get really lucky. And uh, to win at card games, it just takes a lot of luck, not skill at all. Here's what I mean. We'll try to see if we can get lucky uh, with this today. So do me a favor, as I spread cards like this, uh, just touch uh, the back of some cards. You know, we'll use five, like a game of uh, five card uh, poker, all right? So just like this. And uh, you really could have picked any cards and you can change your mind if you want to, but uh, you wanna stick with these, all right, perfect. So um, at these cards here, let's see what you have. You have a two, and you have a nine, you have an eight, another two and a five. Well, um, I don't know, I'd say uh, that's a five. That's kind of a decent card, but I think we can do better. And uh, maybe if I used a skill, we can get a better card than this. So uh, let's see. Mm. Uh, you know what, I think I know where one is. If I just do this with skill, I can get a different card in this case. Look, I have a 10. And that took skill, but uh, maybe, that was an okay hand, but maybe we can use a little bit of magic to get a better hand. So if I just do this, just wave it over the cards like this, maybe by magic we can get a better hand. That's a jack. That's a queen. That's a king. And that's an ace. And that is a royale flush. Okay, so simplicity at its best, right? Uh, you pr you're probably aware of all the slides I did in this routine, but that's not what matters because you're a magician. I'm not trying to fool you. What I'm trying to do with this trick is say that you can definitely entertain and astonish a lay person, a real audience with this routine if you do it right, okay? So here's what you do. You take the row of flush and set it up like this. The 10 goes uh, on the face of this packet, so it'll run Jack, Queen, King, Ace, and then the 10 on the face of this packet that goes on top of the deck. Now you start talking about, you know, those guys on TV who play poker for a living, how you know high stakes poker, you say a lot of people think that takes skill, but that they actually get really lucky. There's no skill involved with uh, playing poker. It's all just luck, and you just start talking about luck. All right, so you, you say, look, let's see, let's see if we can get lucky in this. So just do me a favor, touch any five cards you want, like for a game of five card draw poker, right? So they can really touch any cards they want to. It doesn't matter which cards they touch at all. So whenever they do that, I have five cards up drop like this, just five random cards. Uh, so before you close the deck all the way, so that you could have picked any five cards and just spread over five cards like this on the top in a gesturing action. So you, you could have picked any five cards, uh, but uh, these are the ones that you'll use. And as you close them up, uh, just keep a pinky break uh, below them as you do so. All right, so now just keep the deck sort of elevated like this. That way don't, they don't see that giant gap uh, with your break there, all right? So as you soon as you close up, uh, just strip these out like this. And uh, I like to do this. I like to put them on top like this by ro rotating my hand uh, palm down, okay? So it just goes palm down, they go face up on top. I grab everything above the break. I'm holding 10 cards now. And now we're gonna do the Browie Edition switch. A good way to hide this thickness is to sort of bevel the deck. So you want to, not the deck, but the packet. You wanna bevel the packet so uh, like this. Just bring your thumb inward like this. That way, that just looks like a sharp edge, like a, just a, maybe a card, all right? So you'll always want to hide the front end with all of your fingers like this so they don't see any um, discrepancies in the thickness of the packet. All right, so now uh, for the switch, what you'll do is this. 
And this is a perfect motivation and perfect, perfectly justifies what you're doing because you're showing them what cards they picked, all right? So let's you know, say, look, you got a four and just peel it off with your thumb like this onto the deck. Like this, you have a four and then just turn it over with the aid of this pack. You have a four and keep doing that with all the cards. You have a four, you have a six, you have a king, you have a seven and you have another seven. But on that fifth one, there's a drop the whole packet of six cards on top of the deck and you have a seven and take it off just like this as a single. And say, uh, hmm, I don't know, decent hand, decent cards, but I think we could do better. And uh, you take this card and you put it on top of the deck and say, look, uh, maybe we can get a better card and I can do that uh, with skill. And now you start talking about skill and what we're gonna do here is an illogical double lift by Harry Lorraine. Say with skill, I can probably get a better card. So let me just try to run through the deck and see if I can see one. And that gives you motivation to sort of do this and look through the deck. And uh, at the same time, getting that break, uh, putting it face up on top, saying, hmm, I think, ooh, I think I saw a good one back there. So now what you're gonna do is turn this over like this at the same time, turning your whole hand over like this so that, so that just coalesces over the deck as if you're uh, turning the card over, but really, you, you, you're keeping the card still, but you're just turning the duck over on top of it. That way you can switch it out for that 10, right? So you're here. Um, I think I can switch it out for another, a better card and you just do this, taking that card, switching it for the 10, right? So I think I saw one right around here. If I just throw it through, I switch it for a better card and that takes skill. <laughs> now you say, look, now that was skill, but maybe we can make this a better hand using magic, all right? So if I take this uh, 10 of spades and use it like a magic wand and just wave it over, uh, by magic I can get a get us a better hand. So that's, look, that's a jack now. And that's the queen, and that's the king, and that's the ace. And trust me, everybody is going to be astonished about how this just happened, because you've, you, you've just demonstrated uh, changes, uh, you know, switches, skill, luck, magic, what have you. And there's so many components going on and going right for this trick that uh, there is uh, nothing left to be desired <laughs> for a spectator, okay? So just practice those moves and uh, practice the construction and the, and the script. All right, guys, so as always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It does mean the world to me, it really does. And if you learned something new or if you got value out of this video, do me a huge favor and hit that like button and sub to the channel. Until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.